In this video, you'll see how to easily configure and deploy the CloudWatch agent to collect metrics and logs from your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances and provide measurable and actionable data about system performance. We'll start in the AWS Management Console. Before you can install the CloudWatch agent on your Windows and Linux servers, you'll need to first ensure that your instances are being managed by AWS Systems Manager. To do this, let's create a role having specific permissions in identity and access management. The service that will use this role is Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2. Next, let's search for the appropriate policy to attach to the role. In this case, we want to give Systems Manager permission to manage our EC2 instances. Next, let's search for the policies that will allow the CloudWatch agent to save an agent configuration file to Systems Manager Parameter Store and to write data to CloudWatch. Next, enter a role name. When you're ready, click the button to create the role. Once you've created a role that ensures your instances will be managed by Systems Manager, you can assign the role to existing instances or create new instances. In this case, let's create a new EC2 instance. The CloudWatch agent can be installed on either Windows or Linux instances and the process is very similar. In this case, we'll create a Windows instance. Next, choose an instance type, and then configure the instance details. Let's assign the role we just created to this instance. Ensure that you have selected the appropriate key pair you want to use to connect to this instance, and then accept the terms. Now we can launch the instance. Next, let's name the instance. Now that we've created a new instance, let's connect to it with a remote desktop session and install the CloudWatch agent. To connect to the instance, we'll first need to retrieve the password. Paste the contents of your private key file into the field. Now, copy the password. We're now ready to connect to the instance with Remote Desktop. Download the Remote Desktop file. And then use the RDP shortcut file to connect to the instance with the password we retrieved. This is the Windows instance we just created. Let's navigate to the location where the CloudWatch agent will be installed. Amazon includes some utilities and drivers on new instances, but the CloudWatch agent is not yet installed. To install the agent, navigate to Systems Manager Managed Instances. Select the instance we just created. Now, let's use Run command to install the agent on that instance. Select the Configure AWS Package command. Note that this same command could also be used to install the agent on a Linux instance. Type the name of the package to install. In this case, we want to install the CloudWatch agent. Select the target instance. Scroll down and click Run. Once the command is finished executing, refresh the page to view the results. As you can see, the agent has successfully installed. Let's return to the remote desktop window. The folder for the agent is now present on the instance. Let's open it. Run command install the configuration wizard you can use to create a config file for the agent settings. This file can be stored in the Systems Manager Parameter Store and used to configure as many servers as needed with the same CloudWatch agent settings. Let's see how to use this configuration wizard. From command prompt, 
navigate to the folder with the CloudWatch agent files. First, navigate to the Amazon CloudWatch agent program files. Next, display the CloudWatch agent directory. Now, run the configuration wizard. In this case, we'll accept the default choice to run the agent on Windows. The agent can be run on EC2 instances or on premises. We'll choose EC2. Now, let's proceed through the configuration wizard and accept the default values. The default here monitors host metrics and reports them to CloudWatch. Host metrics can include important data on CPU and memory utilization. Here, let's choose to collect standard metrics. If you want, you can review the metrics configuration and make changes. Once you're satisfied with your choices, accept the default choice to continue. Next, you have the option to monitor any additional customized log files on the instance. Let's review how to collect these customized logs. For the purposes of illustration, the Internet Information Services, or IIS, web server has been installed on this instance. Let's view the log files that IIS generates when the website is visited. This is an example of a custom log file that can also be transmitted to CloudWatch by the agent. We'll enter a path to that log file here. Let's provide a custom log group name that will show up in CloudWatch. We can also choose to monitor Windows event logs. Let's accept the default to monitor the system log. We'll also provide a log group name for the Windows event logs. Once you've completed the configuration, you have the option to store the config file in the Systems Manager Parameter Store. This allows you to apply the same CloudWatch agent settings on as many instances as you need. Let's choose that option. We'll accept the default parameter store name. The configuration has been successfully uploaded to the parameter store, and the configuration agent is now finished. Once you no longer need to transmit configuration files to the parameter store, it's a best practice to remove that policy from the role. As you can see, this policy has permission to both get and put configuration files to the parameter store. Let's go ahead and detach it. You can always attach the policy again later if you need it. Next, let's navigate to the AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store to view the CloudWatch agent settings we configured. Here, you can see the config file we just set up using the configuration wizard. Scroll down to review the settings and ensure the configuration is correct. Now, let's navigate to our managed instances and see how to apply the configuration so we can start collecting data in CloudWatch. We'll apply the configuration to our Windows instance. Now, let's search for the Amazon CloudWatch Manage Agent command. Next, type the name of the configuration file we created in the parameter store. Next, scroll down and select the target instance you want to apply the configuration to. Now, scroll down and run the command. Refresh the page to see the results. Select the instance and review the output. As you can see, the Windows instance configured successfully. Now, let's navigate to CloudWatch and review the data we've collected. Amazon CloudWatch monitors your AWS resources and the applications you run on AWS. You can use CloudWatch to collect and track metrics, measurable data about the performance of your systems. Here you can see all the metrics being captured by the CloudWatch agent. This includes metrics on the processor, 
memory, disks, and more. You can also review data from the logs. Here are the two log groups we set up with the configuration wizard for Windows system events and for IIS. Each IIS server has its own individual log stream. CloudWatch Logs Insights enables you to interactively search and analyze your log data in Amazon CloudWatch Logs. If an issue occurs, you can use queries to quickly identify potential causes and validate deployed fixes. If you want, you can visualize your log data to gain quicker insights. You've just seen how to easily configure and deploy the CloudWatch agent to collect metrics and logs from your EC2 instances and provide measurable and actionable data about system performance. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.